Greetings. My name is Tipi Sohadebe and I'm a second year candidate attorney at PPM Attorneys. I will be discussing the Film and Publications Amendment Act and its drive to make the internet safer for children and what this means for internet service providers. On the 1st of March 2022, by presidential proclamation, the Film and Publications Amendment Act came into operation. The Act was promulgated to address, among other things, what the Department of Communication and Digital Technologies described as an escalation in potentially harmful content on digital platforms. The changes to the Act are aimed at modernizing laws that protect the African public from exposure to prohibited content distributed online, as well as exposure of children to harmful digital content that could have adverse psychological and behavioral impacts. Since the commencement of the Act, the Department of Communications and Digital Technologies, under which the Film and Publications Board falls, has published the Film and Publications Amendment Regulations. The regulations give effect to and serve as an instrument for the operation of the Act. They address, among other things, registration as a distributor, submission of publications, films and games for classification, and display requirements as well as submission of online content for classification. In pursuance of these objectives, the Act has also expanded the mandate of the Film and Publications Board from a classification authority to a regulator of online content. Based on their activities by the Board, it would seem that this is a responsibility which it is accepted with both hands. In relation to safety of children online, the Board launched the South African Online Youth Safety Council. The mission of the council is to provide advice to the board about issues that young people experience online and explore ways of supporting them to have a positive online experience. Going forward, the council will also inform youth safety policies and programs. On the 28th of October, the board published a notice issued in terms of Section 24C and Section 27A of the Film and Publications Amendment Act. The notice relates to the obligations of the internet access and service providers to provide a safer platform for children when accessing their services. The amendments also seek to curb distribution of child pornography. The notice further provides for a complaints mechanism where service providers can report to the board if their services are being used to host prohibited content. In terms of the notice, any person contemplated in Section 24C of the Act is required to update the board in writing within 90 days from the publication of the notice. In the update, they are required to set out how they have moderated their child-orientated services and taken such reasonable steps as are necessary to ensure that such services are not being used by any person for the purpose of the commission of any offence against children. They must also set out how they have prominently displayed reasonable safety messages in a language that will be clearly understood by children on all advertisements for child-oriented for child -oriented services as well as in the medium used to access such or child-oriented services. This includes where appropriate chat room safety messages or similar contact services. In addition, they must state if they have provided a mechanism to enable children to report suspicious behavior by any person in a chat room to the service or the access provider. The service providers must also report details of any information regarding behavior which is indicative of commission of any offense by any person against any child to a police official of the South African Police Services. Where it is technically feasible, the service providers must also provide children and their parents or primary caregivers with information concerning software or other tools which can be used to filter or block access to content services and contact services where allowing a child access to such services would constitute an offence under the Act or which may be considered unsuitable for children, as well as information concerning the use of such software or other tools. The Board has been truly embracing their responsibilities under the Act. In future, we are likely to see a continuance of similar activities by the Board, and it is our hope that we will see collaboration between the Board and other regulators, such as the Information Regulator, in order to ensure a safer internet for children. Thank you for watching. You can visit our social media pages for more videos and the latest tech law updates.